am back with another video. It's your girl, Tiandra. And guess what? We are going to do something very special. We are going to update my how to wrap and unwrap your hair video. Now, you're asking me, Tiandra, why you want to, you know, update this video? Okay, well, two reasons. Two reasons I want to update this video. One is because, child, that video is so raw and uncut and ratch. I don't even know how y'all watched that video. I think that video had about 35,000 um, views. Don't know how y'all watched that craziness, but y'all, I was like, I gotta redo this video. That video had bad lighting. My daughter, who is now seven, you follow me on social media, um, like Instagram and Snapchat, you will see her. She's grown, like she is a big girl. She's seven years old. But back then, she was a little baby. She's making noise. My mother's back there, she's yelling. I'm not even looking in the camera. The lighting is horrible. Camera focus, all, all kind of crap, y'all. Like it was a hot ass mess. So that was one of the reasons why, like, let me redo this. And two, um, my hair is shorter. It's shorter than what it was in that video. So I want to show you how I wrap shorter hair. Um, so yeah, so that's why we're doing this all over again. So let's go ahead on and get started. What do you need to wrap your hair? You need a satin scarf, silk or satin scarf. This is the same scarf I used in the previous video. Um, because I love it. I love it today. It's big, it's huge, and I can fold it into a triangle and it still gives me great coverage on my head. And also I have this one too. This is like a, a strip. Let me see, let me untie it. I'm so unprepared. It's like a thin strip, see? And it's long, so you could wrap this around your head a couple of times, see? I, you can use this one as well. Or you can use a silk or satin bonnet whatever you need you do what you need to do you do you then as far as the tools are concerned i still have the same paddle brush same paddle brush like in that video or you can use a dimming brush have the same dimming brush like in that video i mean you can tell i still use the same things if it ain't broke why well, try to fix it um or you can use a wide tooth comb i know some women do not like to use a paddle brush or a brush to wrap their hair they actually use I'm a wide tooth comb and it works just as fine. I personally don't like it, um, but it's good for less manipulation um, because of course this has the bristles and all that kind of stuff and it's just more manipul it's, it's, it's manipulating your hair, let's just be honest. So this is better because it's less manipulation, it's less pieces or prongs going into your hair and maneuvering it around. So it makes sense, but I don't use that. If your hair has a lot of body, it's not like weighed down with product, if you use a, a wide tooth comb, you want to just make sure that you're using some type of clips, like a duck clip or, I don't even think I have one. Oh yeah, I do. Use like a clip to kind of secure each section and then put your scarf on and tug it a little bit so it's kind of secure and then try to take the clips out and then tighten your scarf and go about your business. Because when you go to comb it, your hair will fall back down like it just did. So you just got to be mindful if you use a comb and your hair is like still full of body, you might have to use some clips with that. But we're going to use a brush. So let's go ahead and get started. Well, so, okay, so anyway, so my hair, um, it's freshly washed and I'm going to use this brush to make sure it stays down. I don't want any loose hairs or stuff flyaways all over the place. I want to try to get it as smooth as possible with this paddle brush. So this is my shorter side. If you know, if you don't know, my hair broke off a lot. So one of my really bad problem areas is this side. So I kind of always keep it tucked behind my ear. If you've been paying attention to my previous videos, this side is always tucked behind the ear because I'm still waiting for it to grow back out. Um, so when I go to wrap my hair, previously I wrapped it this way, but now I wrap it that way. Why? Because whatever side that you wrap it, whatever direction it goes um, naturally, which will be this way for me, that side will lay flatter than the opposite side. The opposite side, the side that's going against the grain, is going to have more volume and is going to be have more body to it. So you can just you can look at my hair itself and say and see how I wrap my hair which side I wrap it on and it's this side. This side is flatter, this side has a little bit more body and that's just how I like it. If I wrap my hair the opposite way with these short pieces, they won't, they will, they will stand like this and it will not lay down. It will take 
product for me to put it down and I don't want to do that so naturally I want to have it go that way so I know it'll lay flat that way so first what you want to do is you want to brush your hair all the way around so the hair right here you want to brush that down hair on its sides you want to brush that down hair on the other side brush it straight down hair in the back brush it straight down some people also they'll make like a L shape to make their like as a guide I don't do it I just brush it straight down so there's no part in my hair at all okay then whatever way I want to wrap it I start so if you're a beginner you might want to take a piece and start going down and around like that as you're going around brush the back down go around some more brush it down go around some more brush it down so then this whole side is around now I want to start right here and like I said if you're a beginner you want to take it piece by piece go down wrap it around piece by piece go down wrap it around piece by piece go down wrap it around and you do that until all the hair is wrapped all the way around super simple now because I have shorter hair especially on that side which is okay because the side with the fuller hair covered it so it's not gonna go nowhere but the back where I have like little loose pieces I can get a little bit of a light oil or serum and I can place it on there and so where it can kind of stay flat or I can get some coconut oil which is a super light oil that penetrates into the hair shaft so I know it won't weigh it down and it'll still give me a lot of body once I take it out the next morning I could put that on that and um, so it'll lay it flat and keep it smooth because I don't want any crinkles or creases in my head back there or anywhere so that's what I can do also you can take a bristle brush like a wave brush um, a boy brush if you will um, you could take that and smooth out all of the hair as well but I don't because I think that's a little bit too harsh for the hair but you can if your hair is wild and totally out of control there's so many loose hairs you can do that as well so that's it super simple as you can see the hair is coming down in the back so I just have to constantly fix it um, and that's that Boom. So before it falls, I want to go ahead on and show you how I wrap it with my scarf. So I make sure it's in a triangle. Like I said, this scarf is pretty big and I like it because it gives me the coverage that I need. I'm a wild sleeper. Um, so I need it to be big enough for this reason. And that is, look at that piece right there. See, it's coming down. And that, that is for this reason. So I'll take it. And I'll make sure it goes all the way to my nose like that I want it to go to my nose because I'm a wild sleeper and if I tie it like that flip it up throughout the night it'll start to rise up and I, I can feel it I can start to pull this down more and more and more so by the end of the night it's like this piece is right here cuz I'm a heart I'm a horrible sleeper but anywho because my hair is going this way, if I pull my ear back to expose my ear, if I op go backwards, I might pull some hair that was going in that direction. So I go this way, so I'm going toward the wrap. And then this side, I could pull back because I know the hair is going backwards. Tighten it. Some people tie it, tie it up here. I don't because it hurts my head. I keep it tied back here. Tie it again, make it sure it's secure. And then I twirl it because I don't like the tail bothering me at night, touching my back. And we're done. Voila. What? Simple, right? Super easy, simple, simple, simple. Now, next morning, you already took a shower, brushed your teeth, um, put your, beat your face, ate your breakfast. So now you want to take your wrap down because it's time to go. You want, what I do is, what I do is I make the scarf go in a direction of the wrap and then take it off then some people use a brush again this time I don't use it I use a wide tooth comb and I just brush it same thing down just how you start it it's going back into that same style straight down 
I don't want to just start combing my hair into a ponytail, if, even if that's what I wanted to do. You don't want to do that because you got to remember, your hair has been in a tight wrap all night. So you just raking it back is causing, it's going to probably cause some breakage. So go back into the style. It's easy to break it up. Some people shake their hair down, um, but I comb it straight back down. I don't want to see any broken pieces of hair on my shirt, so I'm really gentle with a comb. And now that it's back into this style, in this state, I can go ahead on and, you know, style as usual. So I can do it in the part, middle part. I do. I normally do it on the side part. So I can do it on my side part. And then, as, as you know, I pull this hair back. So that's it. Simple. Boom. Bam. Simple. Simple. And that's it, y'all. Simple, easy, how to wrap and unwrap your hair. All right? So, with that being said, comment below and let me know how do you wrap your hair. Do you wrap it like I do or do you have another special technique? Comment comment below. I would love to see those comments on how you wrap your hair. Also, what products do you use? What tools do you use? Do you use stuff like I do or do you use a rat tail comb or a, br a bristle brush or what? So let me know what do you use. Don't forget to subscribe. I have it right up here. It'll send you right to my page and you can just click subscribe. Don't forget to share and like this video. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll probably do more updated videos because now that I've seen that old video, which I'll have linked below. If you want to have a good laugh, I want to probably go through and look at the other ones and, and update them as well. So, anywho, check that out if you want to. And until next time, guys, thank you for watching, and I will see y'all later. Peace.